Katrina Bolf and Sam Hewen on Outlander Season 6, they are as in love with each other now as before. The stars of the beloved historical drama chat to RadioTimes.com ahead of the new season. Drought Droughtlander has finally drawn to a close. The hit time travel and series Outlander returns for season 6 on the 6th of March. And excitingly, the first episode is feature length. That is the little gift to fans for being so patient and waiting for so long for the series to come back. Katrina Bolf, who plays Claire Fraser, tells RadioTimes.com. Due to production delays imposed by COVID, as well as both Bolf's pregnancy, season 6 has been reduced from 12 to 8 episodes, but fans won't be hard done by because so much happens, promises Jamie Fraser starred Sam Hewen. The season begins with a flashback of Jamie's time at Ardsmere Prison, which we last saw in season 3. It's a clever way of introducing a major new character. Jamie's fellow inmate and staunch protestant Tom Christie, Mark Lewis Johns, who in the present time brings his family to live in Fraser's Ridge in North Carolina. Those Ardsmere scenes shot in Glencoe in Scotland are really epic, says Hewin. You can see the Boche Etive Moor, the big mountain in the background. The flashback also offers fresh angle on a past storyline. I really enjoy that about Atlander in Thost, Hewin, and I think we might get more of that. We're really starting to pull up on other books, storylines, narratives. That's what is so great about our show. We can draw upon our past. For Jamie, the way I played, I played it the first time, he's just been through the battle of Caledon. He thought he was going to die. He is shut off, he's living in the memory of Claire, and then to revisit that in season 6, but slightly adapt it. He is suddenly forced into being receptive and being a leader of men again. It's not something when I first played that time period that I even knew that happened. I love that. I think it's really cool for the viewers. The Christie family, Tom and his young adult children, Malva, Jessica Reynolds and Alan Alexander Valls, bring such different vibe to Fraser's Ridge. She's full of praise for incredible newcomers Reynolds. Claire sees a lot of herself in Malva and they form a really strong bond, explains both. But things aren't always what they seem and it gets very complicated. Likewise, Jamie, who practiced his Catholic faith in a very different way, is grappling with intercapable Tom. Jamie has to use his whole toolbox of manipulation and putting him down or threatening him, says Hewin. He can see that Tom is a danger. He uses fear to control men and that's not what Jamie believes in. It begins with unravel to unravel the phrase's popularity on the ridge. But there is more layers to, the, to Tom Christie, teases both, adding, on the surface, Tom seems to be this threesome, Bible-bashing, fire and brimstone man but as the season progresses, we learn a lot more about him. But it's not just the Christie's causing problems for Jamie. For now, he is on the side of the crown and in season 6 becomes an Indian agent, approaching Native Americans to ask them to fight for the British in the Revolutionary War. However, that means potentially aiding a future enemy given that Jamie is planning to switch sides. The ground really is very uneven right now for Jamie, sums up Hewen. Another major storyline is the aftermath of Claire's horrific abduction and gang rape in season 5. Even before we filmed it, we had already started the conversation about how important it was to see the recovery and the fallout recalls both. I'm so grateful that our writers were prepared to give a lot of air time to that. I also think it's important that we see a character like Claire who often gets this moniker of being a strong female that whether you 
you appear to be strong on the outside something like this will really shake you to your core for claire who's always been able to compartmentalize and move on from trauma before we see her experience PTSD and make some missteps along her journey of recovery. Those missteps include self-medicating, something which is prevalent in a lot of survivors' stories. Observed both. Claire is really good at giving help, but very bad at asking for help. So it felt true to her. Both really, really loved this departure from the source material, which is still she stresses woven into key element of the book i think it's a clever way of telling the story and i am excited to see what the fan thinks of it however there has been criticism that diana gabaldon's book and now the series feature too much sexual assault both acknowledges that things have changed since the novels were first published of course, we have to re-evaluate and especially when you are showing something on TV as opposed to reading it, there is different digestion of it. It's very important to handle these things sensitively. If we can, we try to make it a part of a conversation that will hopefully help people. That's why we show different aspects of recovery. What Brianna went through is different to what Claire went through, which is different to what Jamie went through. In season 6, Jamie gives Claire space to deal with her trauma, explains Hewin, but he's keeping an eye on her. He knows that she will come to him should she need, need it. He went to say that it is unprecedented territory for both of them. It really does come to a head because she keeps this secret herself medicating from him. Normally, they deal with everything together. Watching the Fraser's marriage in Evolve is one of the greatest pleasures of Outlander, thinks Hewin, and unusual for TV. You never get to see the domestic daily life of a couple who actually make things work. There's plenty of that in season 6. Despite fewer episodes, we do somehow spend more time with them. There are some lovely moments where you see Jamie and Claire just being in each other's company. But while both enjoy showing the inner working and dynamics of their marriage, she confesses that she's not hugely fond of filming the more intimate moments between them. I can't say that I love all of the sex scenes. They are never the most fun to film. I think at this point we know that they have a healthy sex life. But she accepts that it's really core part of their relationship. They are as in love with each other now as they were from the get-go. It's a good season for the wider Fraser clan as well, says Hewin, with strong storylines for young Ian, John Bell, recently returned from Moak. We get to find out what happened to him, as well as Fergus, Cesar Domboy, and Marsali, Lauren Laley, and Brian, Sophie, Skelton, and Roger, Richard Rankin. It feels like Fraser's Ridge is really flourishing, but this is just the time where it starts to decay. There is further grappling with the ethics of time travel acknowledge to knowledge to Jamie and Claire try to change history and that didn't work out, says Hewin. Now they are trying to be on the right side of history. Jamie is a man of honor and very loyal, but now he is trying to do right by his family and the people who depend on him. He particularly loved shooting the Native American storyline. 